about it, clear about it. Okay, let's move to the word of God now. My topic is uh, a life of victory. Christian life is called a life of victory. The Bible is full of promises for a victorious life for a Christian or we may call a believer, but the Bible calls them disciple. For a disciple, we are supposed to be reigning in life, reign in life. Romans 5.17, Romans 5.17 says, we are supposed to reign in life. Revelation, the book of Revelation always talks about being an overcomer. Romans 8.37, Romans 8.37 we hear Paul saying that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. More than conqueror. Not even a conqueror, more than a conqueror. Okay? And 2 Corinthians 2.14 says, Paul again says, 2 Corinthians 2.14, Paul says, Thanks be to God, he always leads us in triumphal procession in Christ. Triumphal procession. Triumphal procession. Have you seen a triumphal procession? If you had gone to Palais if you were yesterday, you would have seen one. <laughs> a triumphal procession. <laughs> Unfortunately, we only see during a cricket match or maybe <laughs> an election result or something, we see a triumphant procession. But remember, it's not after winning an election. For a Christian, every day, his walk is not an ordinary walk. He is actually in a triumphant procession. Why? Because he... <laughs> He has won. The victory, he has won. That's it. If you come to Revelation chapter 2, you can see a word continuously said there. Revelation chapter 2, verse 7. Verse 7. Okay. I will give the, the, to, the, to him who overcomes. To him who overcomes. Underline the word overcomes. Again, verse 11. Every, verse 11. There again he says, he who overcomes. Again, 17. 17 again, um, he's saying that. Uh, to him who overcomes, I will give. Again, 26. To him who overcomes. Remember, overcomes. The world constantly talks about the word called successful. The world is looking for successful people. In corporate world, okay, you will know, successful. Everybody, hey, he's a successful guy. Hey, at young age, he's successful. In his business, he's a successful businessman. Unfortunately, that word has been copied to the church and ministry also. Some people say, hey, he's a successful pastor. <laughs> I sometimes laugh. The Bible never talks about successful. The Bible talks about overcoming or overcomers. Again, when you come to the third chapter of Revelation, again, five, fifth verse, Revelation 3, 5, again, he who overcomes. 3, 12, he who overcomes. 3, 21, he who overcomes. So, overcome what? Or overcome whom? Now it's very clear. The Bible is very clear. Jesus has something for us only when we overcome. Only for the overcomers it has been guaranteed. Not to a Christian, not to a regular Sunday attending Christian, not even a successful Christian, to the overcoming Christian. Okay, so overcome what? At least we have three enemies. Sad to say they are enemies. Even whatever you call it, okay, the Bible calls it, they are actually our enemies. Number one, the enemy is in ourselves. Who is he? The flesh. Flesh. Our body and our soul. Together, the Bible calls a nice word, flesh. Malayalam, it's called jadam. Jadam belahinam. Our flesh is weak. But we have a spirit inside which is willing. So we have a willing spirit inside, but unfortunately we live in a flesh. So we need to overcome. What do we mean by flesh? The Bible talks about the flesh. It refers to the sinful nature or the human nature without God. 
sometimes we say he is a nice human being <laughs> sometimes we talk hey he is a nice she is a nice human being wonderful human being but remember he or she is a wonderful human being without god <laughs> that's the flesh okay so the human nature without flesh also in roman 7 paul says about the body of sin that is also called the flesh so all human beings we were born in adam am i right and thereby we inherit a fallen sinful nature in our natural condition we are in a fallen condition or a sinful condition and sin is our master and we are its slaves who is our master sin and who are we then slaves unfortunately this was the condition okay thank god this all these terms which i am talking it's from the word of god romans 6 17 clearly says sin is our master and we were its slaves colossians 3 5 and all says about it and we have or we are living by fulfilling its cravings and following its desires and thoughts the sinful thoughts and the sinful desires and we have a craving for it okay we have a craving for it so because of the result of the sin we have become the objects of wrath that's what again bible says objects of wrath or vessels on whom condemnation now rest and will finally receive the outpouring of god's wrath finally this is what paul says ephesians 2 1 to 3 says that ephesians 2 1 to 3 so this is the condition of human being without god without god so what happens this was our former condition this was our initial condition thank god jesus came on the right time at the right time jesus came and on his death on the cross we have been offered salvation now so through salvation we have transferred from the family of adam and we became members of a new family did you get it we were transferred from one family to another family especially in kerala women you are born and brought up in your father's family you had your parents you have your siblings on one fine day one strange man comes <laughs> and your family just sends you away with that strange man and you go to a strange family to your strange in-laws <laughs> and finally you have become the member of that family your last name is been changed to that strange family name <laughs> am i right and your postal address is no more your address in the slc book okay <laughs> it's that strange family to whom you were married to same now we were also we were not married to a strange family okay thank god we were transferred from the family of adam to the family of god and this is the family of god where christ is the head and uh, we have a problem we have inherited adam's sinful nature but now we have become partakers of divine nature that's what paul says divine nature second song no peter says second peter chapter 1 3 to 4 says now we are partakers of his divine nature so now we have to just check ourselves what is my nature is it my old sinful nature which i got it from my great grandfather adam <laughs> or do i have that divine nature because i am part of the new family i am part of god's family and who is the head of this family christ is the head of this family thank god thank god so god has dealt with the root cause of our problem by crucifying our old man who were who we are in adam along with christ remember this is something very very crucial if you don't understand this okay your christian life will never be victorious uh if you read uh, romans 6:6 Okay God has dealt with the root cause of our problem by crucifying our old man who we are in Adam along with Christ this is very interesting why should Christ die on the cross did he have any sin death was a punishment for sin and we all know that Christ was sinless in his whole life okay nobody could accuse him of any sin we all know that 
he was a righteous he was a precious he was a sinless lamb of god but he was crucified on our behalf that means our old self has been crucified with him with him and then and creating a new person because of christ death on the cross a new person has born that's a new birth a new person in other words okay a new man within us ephesians 4:24 says we have become a new man i sometimes remember when we were little children we used to learn choruses in sunday school sometimes those sunday schools were very very uh, what do you call meaningful sunday i am a new creation i am a brand new man all things are passed away i am made oh, new uh, more than a conqueror that's who i am i am a new creation i am a brand new man how many new generation know this song <laughs> sometimes these songs really have a lot of meaning i am a new creation that means i am a brand new man because i am a brand new man okay old things are passed away old things are passed away now i am a new creation so this is very very important so because of i am a new man i have a new heart and i have a new nature which makes it possible for me to live according to god's standards now the standard is changed in my old nature i was living according to the standard of the world the standard of my father which is enemy that satan <laughs> now because i am part of the new family my father is different and i have a new standard and everything is written in this book which i have supposed to follow so titus 2:11 to 14 says about the god standards there so now we have been set free from the controlling power of sin just i am putting the word very carefully now we have been set free from the controlling power of sin the flesh can no longer exercise lordship over me or dominion over me why because i am not in that family anymore i am into this new family now so while eradication of sin has not yet taken place eradication completely sin has not been wiped away till now that you should understand that but emancipation from sin certainly has okay sin don't have to have anything to do with me now through the baptism of the spirit we are enabled to fully walk in god's ways because god has put his new spirit inside me okay and he has written his law here not on the tablet stone tablets or anything he has written it here now so and the holy spirit is here just reminding me of everything that the lord has written in his book which has been copied into my heart and the holy spirit reminds me often and often okay he reminds me thank god for the wonderful work god is doing in my life god loved me so much that's why he redeemed me by sending his son to die on my behalf and pay for my sins so that i am a new creation and been adopted into the family of god not only that jesus went back to be with his father but his spirit he has sent me and his spirit is inside me and because god has written his law in my heart his spirit is reminding me and encouraging me and strengthening me and comforting me and teaching me to walk in his ways can we really say hallelujah for that this is supposed to be a very good news am i right <laughs> this is supposed to be a very good news where unfortunately the church never get excited by hearing all these things if i had told you some other things you would have been jumped up and praise god that's the sad thing of uh, today's church <laughs> when we say the reality of what god has done what jesus has done and what the holy spirit is doing nobody is excited <laughs> okay now as long as we live in this body the sinful body okay we will experience the nature of our old nature the influence of our old nature remember there is certain influence which is still there even though we are saved we are a new creation we are born again we are spirit filled still there is some influence of our new old nature so we should and we must overcome its cravings and desires because 
sin leads to death both physical and spiritual so that's why paul says in romans 8:13 if you live according to your flesh you will desires of your flesh you will die like if you live according to the desires of your flesh you will die so our question should be this morning how are we living are we living according to the sinful desires of our flesh but instead we need to do something we need to put it to death we we'll, we need to put it to death then only we will live the kind of life which god wants us to live so this is this is very very important so the flesh is very very important we live in the flesh and the flesh definitely is been influenced by the old sinful nature so every day we need to put this to death by the spirit not by ourselves by the spirit so that we can live a victorious life so who is our first enemy where is this flesh it's hanging on the butcher shop no <laughs> <laughs> the flesh is here it's very much inside nammada prashnam ee jada edo erachi kada kadakka anna no alla flesh nu kekumba namukku adha orma varunu no nammale enniya aara nammada shatru njan thanna ende ullil thanna undu thappi velil engum ponda don't look for, for others to others okay you are your own enemy <laughs> so you need to fight with your flesh okay in other words fight nu orna you need to put to death അവിടെ ഒരു ദാക്ഷിണ്യവും അനുകമ്പയും ഒന്നുമില്ല അല്ലേ വി ഹാവ് ടു ബി വെരി സ്ട്രിക്റ്റ് ബൈ പുട്ടിങ് ഇറ്റ് ടു ഡെത്ത് ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ പോൾ സൈസ് ഇൻ റോമൻസ് ട്വൽവ് വൺ ആൻഡ് ടു ദേ ഫോർ ഐ ബിസീച്ച് യു എന്താണ് സബ്മിറ്റ് യു നോ പുട്ട് യുവർ ബോഡീസ് നോ ഓഫർ യുവർ ബോഡീസ് ആസ് എ സാക്രിഫൈസ് ഡെയിലി പുട്ട് യുവർ ബോഡി ഇൻ ദി ഓൾട്ടർ പുട്ട് യുവർ ഫ്ലഷ് ഇൻ ദി ഓൾട്ടർ ഐ ലെറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ബേൺ let it burn and only when you put your body would you keep as a living sacrifice in the altar the fire of god can come and consume you where there will be glory to god many times our lives are not bringing glory to god why because there's no fire of god on our lives why there's no fire of god nothing is there on the altar and what is that altar yesterday at the um, fasting prayer brother ajit clearly told and sister acha also explained it's all about the prayer altar honestly unless and until we don't have our prayer altar intact sorry no fire will come because many of us the altar is in ruins it has been broken down so we need to uh, rebuild our prayer altar where when sacrifices have been offered there the fire of god will come upon it so be very careful to keep the fire burning at the altar all the time and the old is when it was mandatory the fire should be always be there at the altar and who should take care of it the priest has to every morning light up the fire who is the priest husbands fathers you are the priest of your house <laughs> okay you are the priest of the house you should make sure that this altar is intact and the fire is always there on the altar so husbands and fathers it's our duty men it's our duty to keep the fire burning at the altar okay men women are very happy <laughs> women are very happy oh idonu idonu paranju koduku pastore you mare nu kekittu okay the women are very busy by keeping the the kitchen fire okay but men should be very busy <laughs> making the altar ready to receive the fire from above so number one was our flesh i'll quickly run number two is the world the world if you want to overcome you need to overcome the world the world referred here is actually the greek word cosmos which simply means an order an order a, 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 an order or a arrangement or a maybe a system an entire organized system of society if you look around we can see an organized system and uh, the way it functions and remember who rules this worldly system the bible is very clear satan remember maybe it is in some way organized and ordered and all but who is ruling over that system 
it's satan satan so that's why in first john 5:19 it says that uh, who controls or who rules over the system it's satan okay so we as christians we are engaged in a battle with the world and with its influence luke 16 14 and 15 luke 16 14 and 15 jesus very clearly says that okay so we are in a fight with this world or its with its influence and that's why in first john 216 it's a very important verse first john 216 john the apostle says okay it talks about the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life okay the world is characterized by the lust of the flesh the lust of the eyes and the pride of life what you see and what you are craving for and then the pride of life means is the boasting which one has about who he is and what he possesses nan aarana nariyamo enna kondu endha kichiyan kariyo nu nariyamo enakku vellu alle nammal saadhana malayalathil parannadu saadha vaakkond enna eduthu kalikkalle what do you mean by that enna eduthu kalikkalle nu oranjal adha that you that person is having pride that don't play with me enna eduthu kalikkiradu kaanam i am somebody nanu parana adha aanu pride of life manasilayallo pride of life ithrayen naal manasilaakkathu innu manasilaakkondu vekkona ini aayathu enna eduthu kalikkalle nu paranja kalichu nee aare kaanam pride of life we are having the pride of who i am enna kondu endakka pattu nalla endu ahankara adha aanu pride of life simple so e three things it is not from the father it's from the world nanu john parana so if i have the lust of the eyes if i have the lust of the flesh it if i have the pride of life it's from the world nanu bible says that so we need to fight against that system so to be worldly sometimes we say it is oh he is a worldly person she is a worldly person what does that mean worldly nu paranjal to live under the control of bodily appetites and passions material cravings and desire desires and self centered and self promoting pursuits if we live like this we can be called worldly 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 so the scripture very clearly describes how a child of god should live especially in the teachings of jesus in the sermon on the mount it is a very clear presentation of god's standards and his requirements for his disciples as a disciple how should i live it's very clearly mentioned by jesus himself in the sermon of mount and then later the apostles also had taught his taught it very very clearly matthew 5 to 7 entire 5 6 7 three chapters talk about it and uh, once we live according to that pattern we are actually totally different from the crowd many times there is a tendency for us to follow the crowd right we are supposed to follow the crowd and we have some good sayings when we are in rome be a roman malayalathil adane kada nalla chere thinnna naati chenna na jo jo thinnu chere chere thinnu പക്ഷെ നമ്മളെ പഠിപ്പിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് ചേരയാണെങ്കിലും തിന്നുവാണ് പക്ഷെ ഒറ്റ പ്രശ്നം ഫ്രണ്ടും ബാക്കും തിന്നരുത് നടുക്കുള്ള തിന്നുവാണ് സേഫായിട്ട് അല്ലേ നമ്മൾ ഭയങ്കര കെയർഫുള്ളാണ് നടുക്കുള്ളത് തിന്നു സോ ഇഫ് യു നോട്ട് സപ്പോസ് ടു ഈറ്റ് ഡോൺ ഈറ്റ് എന്നല്ല പറയുന്നത് ഈറ്റ് ചൂസ് ആൻഡ് ഈറ്റ് ഓക്കെ നല്ല നടു നടത്തുണ്ടെന്ന് തിന്നുവാണ് അല്ലേ ഇതെവിടെ നിന്ന് വന്നതെന്ന് എനിക്കറിയത്തില്ല ചില ഇങ്ങനത്തെ ചില പഴഞ്ചൊല്ലുകളൊക്കെ സത്യം പറഞ്ഞാൽ ഭയങ്കര മിസ്ലീഡിങ്ങും മിസ്ഗൈഡിങ്ങും ഇറ്റ്സ് അൺസ്ക്രിപ്റ്ററിലാണ് ശരിക്കും പറഞ്ഞാൽ മെനി ഓഫ് ദീസ് സു കോൾ പഴഞ്ചൊല്ലുകൾ അൺസ്ക്രിപ്റ്ററിലാണെന്നുള്ള കാര്യം മറക്കരുത് നമ്മൾ വലിയ കാര്യമായിട്ട് അങ്ങ് പറയും പക്ഷേ ഇറ്റ്സ് നോട്ട് സപ്പോസ് ടു ബി ഫോർ എ ചൈൽഡ് ഓഫ് ഗോഡ് യു കെ നോട്ട് ഡൂ ദാറ്റ് യു കെ നോട്ട് ഡൂ ദാറ്റ് സോ ഹവ് വിക്ടറി ഓവർ ദിസ് വേൾഡ് ഹൗ ഡസ് ഇറ്റ് കം പ്രൈമറിലി ഇറ്റ് കംസ് ബൈ ദ റിന്യൂവൽ ഓഫ് അവർ മൈൻഡ്സ് when we renew our mind renewal of our mind is actually i explain it like this it's think differently you need to think differently the world thinks in a way but we when we are christians we need to think differently how the world views it we need to view it differently how the world see it we should see it differently 
getting to get the point that is renewal of our mind so think differently and uh, as uh, ajay said only when we come to the word of god and dwell in the word of god then only we will understand okay what if we only dwell on the teachings and attitudes and ambitions will change when we go th- look things through the word of god sometimes we th- look through our lens but only and when we look through god's lens or through the lens of the word of god that will transform our character and conduct okay that will alone will transform our character and conduct remember in this world who are we are we citizens of this world we may be having an indian passport thank god for it but the bible is very clearly says what does it say hebrews 11 13 aliens and strangers in this earth okay and this world with all its desires will pass away logavum adinde mohavum olinju pogum deivesham cheyinavano enneekkum nilanalkum appo logavum adinde mohavum adu rendum olinju povu alle it will pass away appo ee pass away agam povuna aa logavum adinde mohavum cheyidondirunnal nammal enneekkum jeevikkumo illa pagaram deivesham cheyinavan enneekkum jeevikkum so this morning are you doing god's will or are you after the passions of this world this is very 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 important okay so this is very clear so we need to honestly uh, examine am am i addicted to any fashion any eating any entertainment okay all these things okay mm. any career success are you so addicted tell them about they can addicted ana adum pillare karlo addicted ana parents rendu vota enna sey kittillengi devayidha vella nu parney adathil ottu povanam vayya vittathilla leave it leave it why are you so addicted why are you so addicted yesterday i was seeing a young man he is an iit graduate or iim graduate i think he was working in a very good position the lord called him to come out for ministry he came out <laughs> he is assisting the pastor in the city and the church and uh, right now he is going up doing a part time bible school also studying in a bible school thank god for that so iit or iim are you addicted to it addicted to it please don't be addicted to even your career success sometimes you are addicted to your hobbies don't get more addicted to your hobbies even okay if you seek satisfaction in the things of this world or this world system has to offer you then our love for god will dissipate and our desire for fellowship with god and even with god's people will wane padukke anga po if you are so addicted to cricket if there is a test match on sunday morning at this time will you be sitting here i don't think so because you are so addicted to something so slowly your desire for fellowship with god and fellowship with god's people will wane i don't care oh today sunday sunday will again come but match will not come <laughs> that's it seeing a live match gives me more <laughs> some husbands are looking at their wives and wives are looking at their husbands keto 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 match <laughs> so flesh and world and who is the third enemy hmm devil <laughs> devil he is the third enemy okay what what do you know about devil what are you understanding about devil he is the prince of this world which we learn then he is a deceiver number 1 he is a deceiver vanjaganana revelation 12 9 number 1 he is a deceiver vanjaganana nammale pattikum in ottiri per avante vanjanela kudungi irikkunne he will make us believe certain things which is not true at all his first attempt was to go to the first man and woman and 
ഡിസീവ്ഡ് അത് ആരെയാ ഡിസീവ് ചെയ്തത് ഇറ്റ് വാസ് നോട്ട് ആഡം ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ഈവ് നോട്ട് മൈ വേർഡ്സ് ഓക്കെ അപ്പോൾ സോൾ സീസ് ആദാമിനെ അല്ല കളിപ്പിച്ചത് ഹൗവയാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് സൂക്ഷിച്ചോണം അല്ലേ സോ സൈറ്റൻ ഓൾവേസ് കംസ് ആൻഡ് ഡിസീവ്സ് ആഡം ആൻഡ് ഈവ് ഓക്കെ ആഡം ഈസ് ഓൾസോ ഈക്വലി റെസ്പോൺസിബിൾ ദാറ്റ് സോ ഐ വുഡ് സേ ഓക്കെ സോ ഹി ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് അറ്റംപ്റ്റ് വാസ് ഡിസെപ്ഷൻ and unfortunately they both fell and because of that fall even today we are suffering am <laughs> i right because we are in this sinful body because of that fall so satan is a deceiver devil is a deceiver and revelation 27 and 8 also say that and again as we heard he is the father of lies avan kallanum kallande appan poshkinte appan aanu adu john 8:44 the father of lies he may always come and tell us that we can't have victory what is he constantly telling us even now i am talking about victory what is he telling us here no 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 you can hear all these things but it will not work in you with you this is not possible why this is for only saints saints of god <laughs> not for kind of people like you and uh, he always says hey god will not hear your prayer and uh, also he always comes and disses you hey what you have committed is an unpardonable sin chemikapadatha paavam aanu nee cheyathu and oru kaalathum devu ninnode chemikkan povunnilla this is what he will come and say and uh, being rooted in the word of god his vital very vital to discern his lies and to overcome him if you want to overcome satan and his lies you should be very very grounded in the word of god then only you will be able to discern the lies of the enemy today many lies are coming in the name of even the biblical teaching now a lie is coming all over the lies being spread like wildfire what is a lie there is nothing called hell who told you about hell there is no hell god is not a uh, what he called a cruel god who can send people to hell and where is this coming from so called preachers god servants they are they were actually serving god very faithfully at a time but now they are publicly coming and there is no hell remember more than heaven jesus taught about hell in the gospels yes apostles taught about hell and in the book of revelation it's very clear about hell so what these people are preaching there is no hell it's a lie and where is this lie coming from the father of lies so be very careful on that word he is a deceiver he is a deceiver and the number 2 he is a devourer avan arakkanum moshtipanum mudikkanum kollanum okkeyanu varunathu first peter 5:8 he is looking upon someone to pounce on and individuals who are prone to anxiety and anger are on easy prey i mean ettum pidikina are ennu ariyam the one who is who has lot of anxiety ningal arengil anxious aayittu irikkunnengil ningal eyana avan pettanu note vidana kaari ningal aanu pettanu veedan saadhyatha endana adu kondana paul eduth eduthu varana please don't be anxious onnane kurichum vicharapadarathu എല്ലാം സ്തോത്രത്തോടു കൂടി ഇരിക്കുക ദൈവം ചെയ്യുമെന്ന് ഇത് വിശ്വസിക്കാൻ നമ്മളിങ്ങനെ വിചാരപ്പെട്ട് ഇങ്ങനെ ഇരിക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതാണ് ആങ്സൈറ്റി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അല്ലേ അപ്പോൾ ആങ്സൈറ്റി ഉള്ള ഒരാൾ ഇവിടെ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഓർത്തോ പിശാജ് നിങ്ങളുടെ അടുത്ത് പോകണ്ട് കാര്യം അവനറിയാം ഏത് സമയത്തും നിങ്ങളെ വീഴ്ത്താൻ എളുപ്പമാണ് കാരണം നിങ്ങൾ ഓൾറെഡി ആങ്ഷ്യസ് ആണ് അല്ലേ സോ ബി വെരി കെയർഫുൾ ഡോൺ ബി ആങ്ഷ്യസ് ഫോർ എനിത്തിങ് ഒന്നിനെക്കുറിച്ച് നമ്മൾ വിചാരപ്പെടരുത് ഒരു ഹെൽത്ത് കണ്ടീഷൻ ആയിരിക്കാം മേ ബി ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ആയിരിക്കും മേ ബി യുവർ ചിൽഡ്രൻ മേ ബി എനിത്തിങ് ഓക്കെ ഡോൺ ബി so anxious so anxious okay if you are anxious okay the devourer is standing beside you okay just to pounce on you nalla karyam marakkaradu so anxiety and adutha anger adu or velli olipu if an angry person okay he angry vannal adutha padi endha anariya adonda paul varunathu be angry but do not sin and artham he angry pinna sinnum thammilulla oru fine line അല്ലേ അവിടെ എവിടെയാണ് നമ്മൾ മറികടക്കുന്നതെന്ന് അറിയത്തില്ല പറയുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് നമ്മൾ എന്ത് ചെയ്യും പാപം ചെയ്തിരിക്കും അല്ലേ സോ ലെറ്റ്സ് ബി വെരി കെയർഫുൾ 
okay we may get angry that's right but remember but don't commit sin but you, when you commit sin actually they take the devil has taken over you allengil has been avante kayil ay poi nalla karyam nammal marakkerud so ee anxiety nu oranja that is related to our trust if we trust in god we will not be anxious alle so if we are trust in god i don't have to be anxious and the other thing anger it is related that with our ties with people when we are tied with people we are very much prone to anger also <laughs> so be tied with god and trust in god so that we will not number one edayirunnu onna anxiety illa why because my trust is in him and uh, i am not angered easily why because my tie is with him okay that's it so we should learn to just cast all of our burdens on to the lord trusting in his care and standing firm in the truth of god which very clearly says do not be anxious about anything okay so at times you will have feelings of anxiety perplexity or dejection all these things will come because we are human beings okay only when we get to heaven we may completely <laughs> be delivered out of all, all these things but till then there may be times of anxiety there may be times of uh, you feel dejected or rejected or whatever but those things should not have an lasting effect upon us or it should not stop us with, from following christ okay the overcomer will always see christ and continue to see christ in every negative situation and not succumb to the pressures of the trial this is only a trial like right? this is only a period this is only a passing by that's it but don't succumb to it instead okay continually go after christ go after christ and in our relationship with people be very careful there must be no room for unforgiveness or bitterness when we deal with people there are two areas what is that bitterness you can become bitter with people are you bitter with people <laughs> do you find it hard to forgive people that means you have having unforgiveness in your life so two things bitterness and unforgiveness these are very careful if you have both okay or one what is the result satan has already taken control over you that's it that's it and uh, the consequences of having such wrong spirit are serious our sins will not be forgiven how can you say that jesus said what did he teach when we taught us a prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name then hmm that they all the catholics where are the catholics here okay you should be knowing better we pentecostals are sinners we never see say that prayers <laughs> but that's a beautiful prayer where jesus himself has taught us which need to be prayed adu chollanta prarthana alla adu prarthikanda prarthana adu ingane kaana paadam thatta parayana pole parayanda alla adu prarthikanam when we pray that okay forgive us our sins ഇത് നമ്മുടെ പ്രശ്നം ഫൊർഗി അസ് അവർ സെൻസ് പിന്നെ ഡാഷ് 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 അതറിയത്തില്ല സമൺ ഹാസ് ടു ഫിൽ ഇൻ ദ ബ്ലാങ്ക്സ് വി ഹാവ് വി ക്യാൻ ഓൺലി ആസ് ഗോട്ട് ടു ഫൊർഗി അവർ സെൻസ് ടു ദി എക്സ്റ്റെൻഡ് ഓഫ് വി ഫോർ ഗിവിങ് അതർ സെൻസ് സോ ഇഫ് വി ഡോൺ ഫോർ ഗീവ് ഗോഡ് ഡസൻ ഹാവ് ടു ഫോർ ഗീവ് അസ് ദറ്റ്സ് ഇറ്റ് നമ്മളൊരു ഒരു എന്താ പറഞ്ഞ ഒരു എഴുതി കൊടുക്കുക എന്താ പറയുക അഫിഡ വിറ്റ് എന്താണ് അതെ അതായത് നമ്മളൊരു or the standing instruction we are giving to god lord you don't have to forgive unless and until i forgive someone so god's god is easy ay kari unda nammal shemikan taamishame varunnilla kari unda namakku manushodu shemikan kariyunne illallo alle nammal nerathe standing instruction koduthittund don't forgive me unless i forgive others appo deiva file urikkil eduthitte illa kari edukkan taamishaye vannittilla kari nammal idu vareye shemichu theernillallo ഇപ്പോഴും ബാക്കി കിടപ്പുണ്ടല്ലോ ക്ഷമിക്കാൻ അല്ലേ സോ ദിസ് ഇസ് വെരി കെയർഫുൾ സോ നോട്ട് ലി ദാറ്റ് വൺസ് വി കീപ് അൺഫോർഗീവ്നസ് വി ആർ ഗിവിങ് എ ഫുഡ് ഹോൾഡ് ടു ഡബിൾ പിശാചിന് നമ്മളൊരു ഇടം കൊടുക്കുകയാണ് 
okay that's uh, that's why matthew 5:23 24 and hebrews 12 14 if some person has legitimately anything against us we should make it our utmost priority to get reconciled and pursue peace with that person adana we are supposed to be peace makers and not peace keepers in the world we talk much about peace keeping but the bible talks about peace making am i right ille ulla peace ne adu keep cheyanaanu ellarum nokkunnu nammale sambandhichollam illatha peace poi undaaki edukkanam adu ichira kattiya so we are supposed to do that and the third thing again the devil is a devourer mathramalla deceiver mathramalla third thing he is an accuser he always will come and accuse you revelation 12:10 okay he tries to remind us of our sinful past and find fault in our present lifestyle adana veru prashna ee palaya fault aanu vittaka adu kaiyanu nu parayam ippozhathe lifestyle um ingena fault why is the pastor wearing not wearing a white shirt hello <laughs> why is she like that why is he like that why are they like this why is this family like this why is abi wearing the shoe in the pulpit <laughs> finding fault is very easy it's very easy please if you are finding fault with others all the time remember you are not the son of god you are son of the accuser and satan is your father let us not be his children let us be god's children okay so we can answer all his accusations by the cleansing blood of christ that secures of righteousness before god hello his blood has secured us righteousness before god what is righteousness mean right standing we have a right standing before god how by the blood of christ by the blood of jesus we can go before god and have a right standing it's not our righteousness it is his righteousness he gave it so our sinful past is forgiven and forgotten and in our daily life as we walk in the light walking in the light is not just singing the chorus walk 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 in the light <laughs> walking in the light simply means living a honest and transparent life before god are you living a honest and transparent life before god and men paul lived a life like that ninga karkayil endelum parayanundo ningal aradeil endelum njan eduthittundo ningal enne anugirikku tettu vettathilla njan yeshuvine anugirikkunnu athu pole he was transparent are we transparent like that if we are transparent like that we are walking in the light and the blood of jesus will continuously cleanses not only he has cleansed us 2000 years back continuously his blood is present continuous tense first john 17 if you have sinned go and ask forgiveness and his blood will continuously cleanse you so that we can live an overcoming life a victorious life simply means a life of an overcomer overcome whom the flesh the devil no the world and the devil logam jadam pishaj three things idu moonum we need to overcome how by the blood of jesus that's right by obeying the scriptures okay and living a honest and transparent life before god and before man can we close our eyes and pray thank god that we have been saved from satan's kingdom or the kingdom of darkness and we are taken brought or translated into the kingdom of light our father is our father god in heaven our father is not satan anymore because we have been set free from his kingdom and brought to his son's kingdom that's a kingdom of light father god thank you for your love that you loved us with by sending your son jesus and lord jesus thank you for your love 
that you showed on the cross of Calvary by taking our sins onto you and dying that death, that brutal death that you died on the cross. And thank you for your blood that was shed on the cross which makes us righteous, Lord, and gives us a right standing before God. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for your blessed work of convicting us, Lord, of our sin so that we could come and you pointed us to Christ so that we could come and receive Christ as our Savior and Lord. And thank you, Holy Spirit, for guiding us and uh, teaching us all things that we need to know, Master. And thank you for the one who are residing inside us, Lord, and encouraging and strengthening us, Master. Thank you, Lord, that all of us who are sitting here, we need to live a victorious life, an overcoming life, Master. Lord, we commit ourselves. By ourselves, we cannot live a victorious life, but by your Spirit, Lord, we can live. Thank you, Lord, for the encouragement that you are giving this morning. Even as we leave this place, let these words echo in our hearts, Lord. Bless the next service also, Master. We give you the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us till we meet again. Hallelujah. 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 Why don't we greet one another? Let's go.